Yo, who's there? Hey, come on in, come on in. Welcome to the official Cali the Kid room tour. So let's go ahead and get into it. Before I start though, just know that the room is not completely done. So just excuse the room for being kind of like empty, but let's go ahead and start. Let's get into it. All right, so starting things off, we got my clothing rack right here. A lot of you guys keep asking me, Kelly Kid, where did you get that clothing rack from? Guess what, guys? I got it from Ikea. And also, guys, for the grass rug, I got that from Amazon. So that is a little setup right there. I just cut the grass rug up a little bit so it can fit underneath my clothing rack. But that is the setup for you guys to have been. For everybody who has been asking, I definitely do recommend a clothing rack for your room. Or if you have, like, some really, it's like, super duper expensive clothes, you want to show off, like, the chrome hearts hoodie or some number nine jeans or some, like, one-on-one -on -one Rick Owens pants, something like that. Or if you want to put your shoes on there, you can also do that. So moving on to the dresser. Everybody be hating on the Dior Sauvage. I don't see a problem with it. We got the X clear right here. Then we got the regular Dior Sauvage right here. Everybody be hating. I don't know what y'all hating for. I did a video on TikTok showing my room. I'll pop up the video right here. Like y'all did some haters for real. Also, I do have this like little small bottle right here. Like little complimentary bottle. Also, like the most important thing in my room, we got my shipping label prints here, my thermal printer right here. Without that, I would not be able to ship any of my orders out. Super duper. Also, if you guys do have a clothing brand, whatever, small business, I really do recommend a thermal printer. Um, I got this one off Amazon for like 200, 180, something like that. Nothing crazy. But if you do go with the regular printer and you have a lot of labels, just know you might have to keep buying ink, paper, all that. But for this, all I just have to buy a little. It's like 400 labels for only $20. So nothing crazy. Right here, we got Twitter glasses. You feel me? Shout out Angelic Action for these. And then these, I just got off Amazon. Nothing crazy. So here is the printer right here. And then as you can see, just put the labels behind the printer so it can feed it through. And then it prints out here. Also, we got the Vivian Westwood little handbag that I got from LA. Also, this little hand right here, you guys have been asking. I got this from Ikea also. And then here's a little Vivian Westwood jewelry box. So right here, as you can see, we have all the stickers. And then boom, moving on right here. Business cards, you know, we always gotta keep like a fat stack of these. Every time I go out the house, I'll just bring, oh, I can't show the back. It shows a discount code. But if y'all go cop for me, on the back, it does have a discount code for y'all boys. If y'all wanna go cop again. Also, we have the really, really famous web beanie. I'm pretty sure you've seen this before. You are in the fashion. Also, some really super duper underrated books right here entrepreneurship and then become the youngest business person in town some really good books for you guys to read right here also here's my like quote-unquote vintage camera you call it that but i'm not gonna show too much of that you know i gotta get keep that one i got my bb simmons belt right here which i do not wear anymore you know this is like a basic black and then chrome yeah pretty much just black and like chrome nothing like crazy is it like sparkly on camera mm, no. oh it doesn't look sparkly no nope. uh, i don't really wear this anymore also if you guys if you haven't bought a bb cinnamon belt already this thing is like super duper heavy i mean it's all right but like so every time i go out the house i'm pretty much wearing jogging pants or shorts or something like that because it is summertime i mean it's a cool accessory to have this worth like 200 you know they can go anywhere from like 200 all the way up to like a thousand so is it worth that eh, not really but you know it's just a cool little accessory to have also one thing that i do not use anymore is these freaking airpods bro these airpod pros right here like ever since i got my car i stopped using these air ever since i got my car you know i can listen to my own music now i don't really need these no more but y'all let me know do y'all still have y'all airpods because i know a lot of people be losing them this is my first pair i never lost a pair of my airpods in my life so thank god but y'all let me know do y'all still wear airpods because you know I, I don't i don't think i'll be seeing people wearing them no more so moving on over here soon in the future within like the next month or so i do plan on getting the ikea sneaker shelf it's actually called a bookshelf but i definitely do plan on getting that within like the next month or so to have my shoes on display and set like these ugly acrylic like there's like super duper cheap as you can see but this instead of these like cheap ones right here we were at the ikea store in la i saw it but that thing is huge like like it would not fit in the car so and we don't have anything that's like big enough to transport it here i definitely will have to order that online but a shipping fee i was like oh my gosh shipping fee i think it was like 90 dollars or something like that it was like whew. i think the the shelf one cost like 90 dollars but then after shipping taxes all that i think it came to like 250 280 something like that i was like yeah i definitely do plan on getting that soon but yeah i just got all my jordan fours right here on display and then down here i just got that one pair of jordan ones but right here we got the mason maharas like one of my most favorite shoes in my collection super duper unique they're not a jordan they're not a nike they're not adidas you know just underrated shoe also i like the chunky look that it does have to it mm, also i do want the black and white pair i definitely will prefer that one better than the all white because as you see all white super duper easy to get dirty but i had these in my collection for like a year now also i just got a new pair of shoes in today it is if you can't tell by the box already these are the oreo fours i just picked them up at the sneaker store they are brand spanking new as you can see still got the wrapping paper or mint saran something like that saran wrap i think but yeah these are brand new never been worn um i would keep these for personal but you know i am a sneaker reseller it's a really super duper clean shoe i really do like them but money always comes first i might just end up selling these on go or my website depending on which one you guys buy from first and as you can see right there we got my live subscriber count and you guys have not subscribed yet go subscribe 
when I first started this video, I think we were at 370, but we just got four more subscribers over like the span of like five minutes. I appreciate y'all. Keep showing love. We finna go up. We finna be big like Quan, Papi Q, Capri, Autumn, DDG, all the big YouTubers. We up next. So moving on. All right, so this is like my headrest, bedrest, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's headrest. Yeah, this is the headrest right here. I didn't do this on purpose. I had so many shoe boxes in my room. I had to find somewhere to put them. They just fit perfectly right here. And they actually do look really good. So right here we have my Union 4 box. Made some more Harvard shoe box and then an the off-white shoe box. Up here, I got the cause Reese's Puffs. This is when the uh CPFM X McDonald's collab. I got the Fear of God cap, which I don't even wear hats like that. So that's why it's up there. The freaking greatest video game of all time. In this generation, we got GTA 5. If you have not played this or you do not know what it is, you're pretty much living under a rock. Everybody has played this game before. Yeah, back like a few years ago. Oh my gosh, I think this game was at its peak. But GTA 5, Rockstar Games, you guys need to hurry up and release. GTA 6, I don't know what's taking so long. We have the 48 Laws of Power. You guys are trying to get on your um, self-improvement journey. That is definitely a book that I do recommend. Dusty. I have my quote unquote vintage camcorder right here. So, all those videos you'd be seeing on TikTok and YouTube with like the VHS type film to it. This is like the camera that they be filming with. This has freaking um, night vision, which looks so cool. But yeah, I definitely, um, this camera does not work anymore. I gotta get it. I gotta bring it to like a camera shop. Also, this camera takes these, I forgot what this is called, but it takes this right here. It is not like my camera right now. It's not like my camera right now. I just have to insert the uh, SD card. Nah, this one right here, you gotta use this whole. I got these two right here. I gotta find somewhere to put them up there i might have to take some stuff down so i could put these up here but we got the supreme wheaties boxes um you might be like why are you collecting cereal boxes don't ask but for right now i'm gonna set those right there until i find a spot for them but stop asking me why i'm collecting cereal boxes don't don't even worry about that also for you guys who saying i don't have a tv if i wanted to put a tv up in here i'll probably have to get a mount on a wall because i do need my mirror for like when i get ready or i make tiktok videos and i definitely don't want to put it in front of the mirror but it's not even worth doing all that first of all you gotta go buy a tv you gotta go mount it just for me to go watch like 30 minutes of tv a day nah i don't even watch tv like that anyways also we got a ferrari 458 we definitely will have this car in the future one day right now we just got the toy version until we get the real version coming down to my nightstand bro why is there shoes on your nightstand and guess what i didn't have anywhere else to put them so I had to put them right here. Also, I will be dropping. A, also, I will be dropping a closet tour video soon, so stay tuned for that. Cause my closet is freaking packed, clothes and shoes. So I definitely will be excited to bring you guys that video. As you see right here to the side, what are those shoes right there? These are not my personal shoes. These are my shoes right here to resell, including these tape tapes, Jordan Fours right here. You know, I will be bringing all this inventory to Got Soul, which is this weekend, July 22nd. 11 pairs of shoes are Got Soul this weekend. So if y'all there, hey what's up? I will be there. Um, I think Blueface is supposed to be there. Brian is supposed to be there. Probably a whole bunch of other people. People that are like well known it's supposed to be there so it's gonna be lit right here we got my black supreme forces with my zigzag laces on them you know if you guys didn't know already i do sell shoelaces you know i sell the hardest laces on this app so if y'all want a pair go tap in right here realwalker.us i think i only worn these like two three times maybe also you guys wonder where i get my shoes from most of my shoes for feet i get them for either a sneaker store get them online or like grail depop any of those websites or um most of the time what i do is i just buy them go but that is where i get most of my shoes from for everybody who's asking and then Below Supreme Forces, we got the Stussy shoes right here. These are look like they're Travis Scott inspired. We got the backwards swoosh, and then it says Stussy right here. Not gonna lie, these are grandpa shoes. I'm not even gonna hold you, but you know, just a nice little cell colorway. Pretty clean in my opinion. So I'm not gonna show too much of the closet. I'm gonna leave that for another video. And then coming over here to this side, I got even more shoes. Oh yeah, also for the people who ask me where did I get my furniture from, I don't know. You gotta ask my parents. They're the one who bought it. So stop asking me where I got the furniture from or the bed set from, because I do not know. So stop asking. Also, we got this poster right here it says it is not how good you are it is how good you want to be super motivational to start the day off you know if you guys need a little bit of motivation live by this quote right here um where did i get this poster from i got this from i think it was home goods also everybody keep asking me where did i get this scat pack logo from and i got this from either i think it was home goods i don't know if they sell that anymore but i made a tiktok video saying if, if the video gets like thousand i think i said like a thousand likes i'll buy it and guess what the video got a thousand likes and i bought it but that is a really cool accessory i am super duper glad i bought that it looks really really clean even even though I do not have a scat pack, but it is what it is. But if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will be bringing y'all more banger content. But also in the comments, let me know down below, what should I add to my room? Because in my last room, I had some LED lights. I don't know if I should get those back up again, or like any other accessories or like room things that you guys have in your room that you like the, that you probably think that's hard in mind. Just let me know in the comments down below. But right now I definitely do plan on getting that sneaker show from Ikea. That would look so much better. But yeah, just let me know in like any other like posters. Cause I definitely do like once more posters because you know as you can see my walls are like pretty pretty uh bland if you can't tell already but just let me know in the comments any suggestions that you guys have thank you for watching all the way through and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video because right now we about to grub on chick-fil-a brownie